home with Lacey. You guys ready to start circle time? You know the hello song? Okay, let's sing it together. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, ahoy, yasu, ni hao, konnichiwa, ciao and shalom. Hello to all the children of the world. We come from different places from all around the world. We speak in many different ways. Though some things may be different, we're children just the same, and we all like to sing and play. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, ahoy, yasu, ni hao, konnichiwa, ciao and shalom. Hello to all the children of the world. Hello there, good morning, how are you today? Okay, you guys ready? Got to work out on our calendar, figure out the weather, talk about our science project from yesterday. Hmm, wonder what happened there. And then we have another activity for Tuesday. Oh, I almost gave away the day, but for today. Let's figure out what today is first. Okay, is it Monday? No, that was yesterday, right? Bye-bye, Monday. See you next week. Okay, here are the days of the week. Do you know what today is? So close to saying it. You want to sing? Let's do that. You ready? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Seven days are in a week and I like to wiggle them out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Seven days are in a week, and I like to stomp them out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Seven days are in a week, and I like to sing them out. Did you catch what day it was? either from me or from our song? You're right, good. It is Tuesday. What does Tuesday start with? Maybe I'll bring it closer for you to see. Do you know what that sounds like? T -t 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 -t. Tuesday, yeah, starts with a T. Okay, let's put it here. Hi, Tuesday. Okay, today is Tuesday. Here we go, down on our calendar, so many numbers. Boop! You ready to count? So many numbers today, I'm gonna need all of your help. Ready? We start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, what's after 29? 30, and then 30, 31. Wow. Okay, here we go. You see that? 31. Today is the last day of this month, and it's also a very special day for Sarah in California. Happy birthday, Sarah. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful sunshine day. Okay, now. Now we know it is Tuesday the 31st of March, yes. And it's the last day. Tomorrow all these numbers will be gone. And we'll start on Wednesday and we'll have to put a number here. Come back tomorrow, we'll figure it all out, okay? You ready to sing our months of the year song? Okay, let's do it. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, 
December, these are the months of the year. Yeah, do you remember how many? We talked about it last week. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months. And how many days are in a week? Remember? Seven. Yes. Okay. Now we have to figure out the weather. Hmm. You ready to shake it? Shake it and shake it and shake it, shake it, shake it. Hey, Mr. Weatherman. Hey, Mr. Weatherman. What's the weather like today? Is it a sunny day? Is it a cloudy day? Or is it a rainy day? One more time. Hey, Mr. Weatherman. Hey, Mr. Weatherman. What's the weather like today? Is it a windy day? Is it a stormy day? Or is it a rainbow day? Whew. Okay, let's look out my window. You can look out your window too. Maybe we have similar weather. Maybe you're in Copenhagen and it's exactly the same. Hmm, okay. Well, I still have blue skies here. I've been really lucky with Mr. Sun. Sun, Mr. Mighty Sun. But today it was freezing outside. Remember yesterday we talked about ice and freezing? Yeah, and today it was freezing and all the grass had like frost on it. Yeah, and you could see my breath. So even though it's sunny, it was really cold. Anyway, do you guys, did you figure out the results from your science project yesterday? Which thing made it melt faster, your ice cubes? Hmm, do you wanna see my results? Here, here's a video from yesterday where I share my results. Here it is, have a look. Okay, so my experiment is all over. And do you wanna see the results? Let's have a look. So here's my sugar ice cube. Here's my salt, and here's the control. Which one do you see that melted faster? Yeah, the salt. Did you have the same results? Interesting, right? So today we're working with water in two different forms, a liquid and a solid. Do you know how this liquid water can become solid water? Yeah, in the freezer. But do you know why in the freezer? Because in the freezer, it's freezing. It's either zero or negative zero, below zero, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit or less. And that will always make water turn to ice because it's below freezing. But today, when we put salt on our ice cube, it lowered that freezing point made it melt, and it works better than sugar or just leaving it out. I hope you guys had the same results and you had a lot of fun doing this. And if you use something else to melt your ice, I'd be really interested to know what your results were. Anyway, let's go back to circle time for Tuesday and we'll do science next week. See you in a second. I know someone in California used three different types of salts. He used a very thick, chunky pink salt, a red salt, and a black salt. And guess what? He found out that the fine Hawaiian red salt melted his faster because it covered the surface of the ice cube more. Interesting, right? Thanks for sharing that with me. Mwah. Okay, so for today's activity, we're gonna go back over to the science table, but today it's the art table, and we are gonna do an art project. So come with me over there. I'm gonna explain it all to you, okay? You ready? Let's go. Hi, welcome to my art table. Let's go over all of the materials. First, I put down a mat on my table so I can protect it. So that might be really important at your house. Next, I have a piece of paper. Any color will do. I have white. I have all my colors, but wait, some colors are missing. I only have red, yellow, blue, green, and black and white. Hmm, what colors are missing here from my rainbow colors? Orange, 
purple, I heard it. Okay, well we're gonna have to mix some colors together because I want to have all my colors. But before I do that, I'll also show you some other materials. I have these cotton swabs, Q-tips. I have these toilet paper rolls that I've cut to make different stamps. You could use both sides. And on this one, it kind of looks like a flower, right? But I put rubber bands around it because I thought it might be kind of a fun stamp as well. So I'm trying to find materials around my house um, so I'm not using a paintbrush. I could also use my finger, but trying to use recyclable, usable things from around my house so you can go on a little scavenger hunt, see what you could use for your art project. But because it's spring, I'm going to do a springtime painting. So to get started, we have the table covered. Do you have a smock? Because if you do, you can put it on. I don't, but I'm gonna definitely roll up my sleeves. I don't want paint anywhere. Okay, ready? So, gonna open up my paint. I didn't put green on my plate because I think we should mix our colors together to make green. Because it's kind of fun and it's a little bit of science involved too, and I love science. So, we have the three primary colors. We have red, yellow, and blue. Now, the secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. And we can make all three of these colors by mixing these. So what I'm gonna do is on this plate, I'm gonna move my paper, because it's for my art. I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of red on this plate. What color should I make first? Purple, okay. So I'm gonna take some blue and put it on my plate. And look at that. I have purple. Okay, I'll keep my Q-tip there. Okay, what color should I do next? Orange, okay, whoopsie. Good thing I rolled up my sleeves. Okay, let's do a little bit of yellow. A little bit of red. And the last color is green. Do you know what colors we mix to make green? We used red and blue for purple, yellow and red for orange. Now we're gonna use blue. and yellow, right. If you have all the colors, you don't need to mix it, but it's kind of fun, you should try it. Okay, so now I have all my colors I want. I'll get my paper and I'm going to use the materials I have to make a springtime photo or painting, I guess. So let's see here. As you can see, my hands got super messy, but I had a lot of fun and it actually feels so slimy and nice. It's kind of fun. So I'm gonna go wash my hands before I touch anything else. And then I'll come back and I'll show you my, my, my painting. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have clean hands, I'll show you what I did. 
there it is. And when it dries, I'm actually gonna come back with some markers and I'm gonna make these fingerprints into bumblebees and just fill in some more of the painting. So I can put it on my window with my rainbow, just like I did last week to share color and springtime with my neighbors. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do some baking and I'm gonna post the recipe on At Home with Lacey on Facebook. So if you wanna go there, check out the recipe, Make sure you have all the ingredients, that would be great. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.